Hello guys! In today's fast-paced business landscape, success hinges on efficient workflows, seamless collaboration, and secure data management. As a business owner or as a technical manager, have you ever found yourself struggling to strike the balance between guaranteeing access to your application resources and maintaining robust security measures? Look no further. AppSmith, the ultimate platform for building internal tools and applications, presents a game-changing feature designed to address these challenges head-on, granular access control. With AppSmith Granular Access Control, you can unleash the full potential of your application by specifying who access various system components and precise defined actions they can perform. This powerful capability provides you with unparalleled control over your application security and data privacy. Why is access control so crucial for your business? Let's delve into a few compelling reasons. Protecting your sensitive business data is paramount. Granular access control empowers you to limit access to critical values, ensuring that only authorized individuals or groups can view or modify them. Safeguard your proprietary information and maintain data integrity with ease. Seamless collaborate with your team members, customers, or partners while maintaining control. By assigning specific roles, users, or groups, you can facilitate efficient collaboration on projects while keeping sensitive data confidential from those who don't need access. Regulatory compliance. Many industries must adhere to strict regulations frameworks. AppSmith Granular Access Controlled helps you meet compliance requirements like GDPR or COC2, enabling you to define access permissions precisely. So, without further ado, let's jump into AppSmith Business Edition and I will show you how easy to utilize Granular Access Control. So here I am in AppSmith Business Edition, but before we dive into the example, let's go to the documentation to understand how this works. If we take a closer look to this image right here, we will see that users within AppSmith can be added to groups or be assigned a given role. And groups might also have one or multiple roles assigned. You will be able to control access at the role level, for example, allow or block access or actions based on roles or also based on groups. For this example, I will use groups, but the procedure is pretty much the same. All right, so let's go back to AppSmith and here as an admin, we can go to the admin settings here on the left menu. And in the general section, if you scroll down, you will see this section called programmatic access control. And if you check that box, you'll have the ability to start using roles and groups for conditional business logic. So let's thick it and save the changes. So now let's go to the role section on the left menu and uh, let's create a new role called viewer. And we will give a set of permissions on this tab. First on the application resources, we will give the viewing permissions only. Then on the data sources and queries, the same only view. And finally, for the groups and roles, we will give it viewing permissions as well. So now that we have the role ready, let's go to the groups menu and let's add a new group. In this case, I'm going to name it marketing. Let's go to its roles tab and here we will assign the viewer role to this group. This means any user with the viewer role will be part of the marketing group in this example. Now let's add a user to this marketing group. I'm going to add this user, which is a personal email that I have, to this group. Now if we go back to the users list, we will notice that we have our marketing user and our admin user. These are the ones that I'm going to use for this example. So now we're ready to start building the app. So the first thing we will create is a data source. And I will use this free and open API called JSON Placeholder, which will basically allow us to have a crude API for testing. Let's grab this list all resources endpoint and let's use it in a new API query. Let's create a blank API query and let's name it posts and use the get method. 
paste the endpoint that we copied and click run. This will show all the data as a table, but we can also see it as a JSON object. Let's create a table widget based off this API data. And as you can see here, we have a table showing the posts from the API endpoint in the user interface. Now let me arrange these table columns here and let's make the first programmatic access control example. See how this table have this download option here at the top? This allows the user to download this table as a spreadsheet. If we scroll to this option called Allow Download, you will see this small JavaScript button. Let's click it and Apps will, sh Apps will show us a field where we can put any type of JavaScript logic or sentence. If the return value is true, then AppSmith will show the download button. If it's false, it will hide it. Let's use the curly brackets here and uh, let's use the AppSmith.User expression. This will bring data from the current user and as you can see here we have the groups array, which will contain all the groups this user belongs to. So let's use that value and using the includes function we will validate if the current user belongs to the admins group. If that's the case, the download option will be enabled. And actually, to make things even easier, let me add a text widget. Let's actually print this value, appsmith.users as groups, so we can easily see it on the screen. So let's deploy this app. And as you can see here in the browser, I'm logged in as a admin. And here you can see the download functionality. Let me log in on another browser as the other user that we have for testing. And the first thing you will see when we logged in is that the user cannot edit the application, only launch it, because we assigned the viewer role to the marketing group and the user belongs to the marketing group. And as you can see, this user that belongs to the marketing group only will be able to see the table, but it's not able to download it. It doesn't have the, uh, the download feature enabled, but in contrast, the admin user can so a single application can have multiple functionalities based upon roles. Now it's time to make something more advanced. Let's make the data on this table editable with the API endpoint. And again, only users of the admin group can access this functionality. In the table column properties, let's make user ID, title and body editable. And this by default will enable the save slash discard functionality for each table row. If we access that column preferences, we will see that there is a visible option, which also has the JavaScript capability. So let's enable it and use the same JavaScript expression that we used earlier to check if the user belongs to the admin group. And just like that, we will hide the entire functionality based on the role. So if we deploy and test this here, you will see that uh, basically the viewer user won't see that functionality at all, while the admin can. Next, let's work on the API integration to update a post. As we can see on the API docs, in order to update a record, we have to use this endpoint passing as a parameter the ID of the post and a JSON object containing the new title, the new user ID, and the new body. So let's do that in AppSmith. Let's add a new blank API and I will name it update post. And the method will be put since we will be updating the inexistent record. Let's paste the endpoint and in order to pass the ID of the post that we want to update in the table, we can use a table property called updated row, which has the object of the row that has been updated. So in this case, we can use updated row that ID. Okay, so now we're ready to pass the entire JSON object in the body and we can use the same property to pass each value to the object the same table one that upgraded row. So here we have the body object ready to be sent. So now let's bind this API query to the save functionality. If we go to the save column, you will see this unsave functionality, which we will add a new one and select execute a query and select the newly updated post query that we created. Now we can define uh, what we will happen on success and on failure. I will define a alert to be displayed on both the scenarios, showing either a success or failure message. So here it is, on save, we will call the query to update the record and they will show a message to the end user. And that's it, let's give it a shot. 
Let's deploy the app and let's edit this record body here and also the title. And then we're going to hit save. And there you go. The record was successfully updated. Now, if we go to the other user app, this option is not even available because it doesn't have the group or roles to make that happen. So there you go. This is a example on how to use AppSmith Granular and programmatic access control. So are you ready to take your business to the next level? Sign up for an AppSmith Business Edition today and experience transformative capabilities of granular access control. Visit our website and join the growing community of business that are unlocking their true potential with AppSmith. Remember, your success starts with the right tools and the right mindset. Thank you for joining me today. Do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned to more exciting features and news about AppSmith. See you later.